hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting trend that's been going around on tiktok and it's titled soft guy era drizzle drizzle men are playing men are placing more demands on women and this is the part one and as time offered we're going to be checking it out part by part if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please consider subscribing. Give this video a massive thumbs up, comment, share, and all that good stuff. And without much ado, let's see what this video is all about. If you don't know what the soft guy era is, or you just simply hate the soft guy era, this video is for you. Shout out to my fellow Mark, Mark Pillard, for dropping a slideshow on Instagram explaining what this is. So if you didn't know, me and my brother Goody started the soft guy era a few weeks ago and it's going viral very we viral we can have it on the internet and so have the rest of y'all we love the support keep dropping y'all videos let's keep making them mad so now we're going into detail on what this is the idea men in their soft guy era want to find high value women who can take care of them in ridiculous ways <laughs> yes we do they want us to have wow money. i want my woman to have money as exactly well. it's 50 it's 50. Right. Drizzle. the soft guy era is a response to the soft girl era of 2023 hmm. it mocks videos in which women demand ridiculous things yeah me, it twist a mnemonic device from it's YouTube, about time Tisha Pude, aka the sprinkle sprinkle lady it's a supervision of alpha male content and then here's the kicker and this is what they don't like the four points women say they want equality but then some demand the most unequal situations from men and this includes men paying all the bills but the woman is making money as well but she doesn't want to come out of pocket because she's a woman right doesn't make sense that doesn't sound equal to me yeah i'm gonna go down the inside that's like a if touch men acted like this they'd be laughed out the room see now when women are hearing these things they're like oh this is ridiculous no way you want a mom you want you want a parent you want a you want a man no we just want what you guys want from us in return now on to the advantage men believe they bring a lot to the table so maybe they are now the table see a lot of men don't realize they are the table if a mm. man is paying all the bills yeah sir, you are the table you're providing for a woman and your children yeah you are the table exactly but a lot of men don't realize who they are so they really don't know they've been manipulated into living old-fashioned ways that shit is over and it's dead these women get money now it's time to spend that money now and contribute and work as a team eve was made to be a helpmate to adam let's not play now the strategy show how outrageous it is when men demand to be provided for in the same equality hmm. we all know being a provider in 2024 is a scam so we don't care so we're not doing that anymore we know that's old-fashioned these women got money these women are working so they need to contribute yeah. we want a helpmate rick ross just dissed drake and he just showed us that he was in a soft guy era check this out fellas listen listen up if the woman you dealing with ain't prepared breakfast for you this week or on this beautiful saturday morning if she didn't send over some croquettes a bagel a smoothie a <laughs> side bowl or nothing this beautiful saturday morning she not your woman fellas. I'm so oh, she your close friend she your friend maybe not even your close friend <laughs> Damn, it's Saturday. Wow. She ain't said nothing to the house. She ain't suggest nothing. She suggested nothing all week. Don't even fuck with her no more. Cut her off. Not only did he tell y'all that, <laughs> he lived by this word. Wow, you guys, this trend is so, so funny. And as much as it sounds funny or as much as it seems funny, it is actually a wake up call to so many women because the way men has been treated for the past years is so unjust. It's so, it's almost inhumane. And I hope that women will begin to wake up and realize that men also need to be treated as equally as they are because nobody is a prince. Nobody is a princess. We all are created to complement each other. But some women has made it seems like a career, extorting money from men, wanting men to pay all their bills and even taking care of their extended families. Let me know what you guys think about this video. I'm loving this so, so much. And let's continue watching you guys. Mucho gracias. Mucho gracias. Somebody door dashed some food. Thank you. Somebody sent me some croquettes. I wonder who did it. Somebody did it the same day. In you're sitting here settling for a bare minimum woman <laughs> it's true rick ross is in his soft guy era you can too why are you settling why are you coming out of pocket for everything why 
Why is she not buying you anything? Why is she not cooking you no meals? She don't really want to be your girl. She don't like you like that. Why are you settling? You sitting here telling me you claiming to be in your soft guy era and your woman don't do nothing for you? That ain't your woman, bro. That ain't your girl or nothing. That ain't your girlfriend. None of that. It's none of that. You claiming to be a soft guy. Fuck out of here. Nah, because I'm seeing all these dudes online talk about soft guy era this, soft guy era that. Y'all wanting girls to pay for stuff. And honestly, bro, you type of dudes, bro, is damn right. It's about time. Personally, if you ask me, it couldn't have been said better. I'm, I'm just relieved to know that it ain't just me. You want to come here and ask? me what i got to offer what i bring to the table baby i am the table and and, and it's not the question of do i got money obviously <laughs> but i want yours how could we speak in our mind now we sassy now we acting zesty what y'all be saying and did don't care i'm gonna put your ass to work i'm looking for the big ballers okay when that bill comes to the wow. table don't even look in my direction it's giving broke girl and baby if that's the case that's fine just say that no judgment but next caller i'm sorry boo no money on your done yun. it's gotta go at this point i'm not even answering the call unless i get the cash at first like what where's my money for my haircut you want me to pump the gas i forgot my wallet for me my favorite line and don't ask me to take out the trash baby i'm in margella's this ain't no soft boy era this is a soft boy forever what are you talking about yo i immediately left this date because when i got out the car she didn't even have flowers to give me oh you must think i'm a hoe i can't tolerate disrespect when i'm in my soft guy era First of all, this girl put up in a Nissan Altima. <laughs> Beat the fuck up, matter of fact. Let me tell you wow. something. All the girls that I've dealt with, These guys are they were driving so Mercedes and extra. BMWs. Top class. AMG. I'm not going to lie. A lot of y'all girls are giving fucking broke. If you have a beat up Nissan Altima, I don't think you're in the position to be dating. Especially a guy in their soft guy era. Are you kidding me? I need everybody to listen because I had to break up with one of my girlfriends because she wasn't putting me in my soft guy era. I walked over to the driver's side of my car and she didn't even open the car door. It, exactly. I walked over to the driver's side of the car and she didn't open the fucking car door. Don't piss me off. Excuse me. Open my door. I'm in my soft guy era. We will no longer be pumping our own gas. When we pull up to the gas station, ladies hop out the passenger seat <laughs> and pump the gas while we sit in the car and watch wow. TikTok videos. <laughs> and we are now also requiring at least $100 to be spent on us on the first date. And if you can't afford it, you shouldn't be dating anyways. And I see all you females talking about, oh, soft guy era, you like men. If you like men, just say you like men. You want a female to take care of you. Stop yapping, it's giving broke. And this girl gonna have the nerve to ask me what I want to eat and I said nothing. And she had the nerve to come home with food for herself and nothing for me. Even though I said I didn't want anything to eat, that didn't mean I didn't want anything to eat. Where's my food? You're supposed to be a mind reader. Now, can I get a drizzle drizzle? Soft guy era, it's our time. And you females wow. that's on the street, y'all need to step y'all game up because y'all are losing to these females that's in the penitentiary system. They got dudes lined up just sending them money. Matter of fact, all the friends that I got, got them a woman that's in the penitentiary system. Y'all got to step y'all game up, ladies. But uh, go on about y'all little business. Women have said for hundreds of years that men age like a fine wine. Well, baby girl, fine wines are expensive. Drizzle, drizzle. Get ready to spend. If you can't give me your flyer miles to take me somewhere that I haven't been yet, which is 24 countries, then it just shows me that you don't value fine wine. Drizzle, drizzle. It means you've never had it. You've never been good enough to have it. You've never. <laughs> wow, you guys. The table has finally turned on the women. And what these men are demanding is even bigger than what the women has ever demanded this last guy that spoke really took me out because i don't know how many women that can beat the record he already has let me know what you guys think about this video do you think this is a joke or are these men really really serious are you sure that they are going to live by these rules they are setting or they are just doing it for the trend leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and let's wrap this video up you guys never been able to afford it and if you can't afford to find wine or never have it how can I trust you to treat me right like the fine wine that I am? Drizzle, drizzle. You see, I'm a business owner. I've been around, but I'm in my soft guy era. I need a girl that's doing better than me. 
I already have 150 properties in Airbnb. I've already made $10 million. I need something new to me. If you don't have 300 properties, four Bugattis, if you don't have a billion in your bank account, then you're not doing better than me. And you can't afford this wine drizzle drizzle. You see, I'm educated, I'm cultured, I can cook. I've got gray in my beard. I know my value, drizzle drizzle. Something I'm starting to notice is a lot of women are starting to debate against what us men are talking about when it comes to soft guy era. A lot of women are coming with logic to our video saying, hey, this might not work out. You might not find the person that you're looking for when you live in your soft guy era. Well, first off, we didn't ask for your unsolicited advice. We didn't ask for your opinion. We came to the internet with our feelings and our emotions. If it doesn't make sense to you, that's okay. Maybe you're just too broke to understand. If I wanted your opinion, I would have asked, but I understand that I came to a public app where people can respond to my video with their opinion. But if I didn't ask you, why are you sitting up there making a video about it? Even if it is logical. It needs to be understood is, this is the time of us being equal. Everything is about equal, 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 but yet some of you are getting upset saying men are stealing things from you. We're equal, we're sharing. That's what us equal folks do. It's not about one is better than the other or one can't do this and the other can. If we're equal, we can share and we can do everything the same because we're equal, we're the same. But please understand, y'all's unsolicited opinions, even though they might be logical, this is my life. These are my feelings. I understand you might want the best for me, but I'm gonna live in my world and do what I want because this is my life and I don't care about anything else or anybody else. After careful deliberation, I have decided that I officially too will join the soft guy era. You don't get all this handsome dark chocolate for free anymore. I'm handsome, I'm educated, I'm tall, I'm athletic. You don't get all this for free anymore. Unless you're going to pay my bills, buy me a car, take me out to eat and buy me gifts on the regular, don't even breathe in my direction. I am done tolerating the bare minimum. You can either treat me like a king or you can get out of here. You guys will not believe what just happened. So I'm in the parking lot, right? And I'm putting away my groceries and this girl comes up to me. She's like, oh my God, you're so handsome. And the first thought I was already having, like, why are you calling me handsome? Like, I get that compliment all the time. Like, why are you just acknowledging me for my beauty? Like, that's just so weird in my looks. Like, you're so shallow. Like, I can tell, like, who you really are. But she asked me for my number. And I said, okay, wow, my number? So I gave her my Instagram. I said, you can't have my number, but you can have my Instagram, though. And then she said, oh, I, I can't have your number? Like, why can't I have your number? And I said, wow. well, I don't give my number out to people like I really don't know. So you can have my Instagram, though. You can have my Instagram, drizzle, drizzle. So I'm like... Okay, are you offended or something like that? Or is, it, is there something offending you? And she said, well, I just wanted your number. And I was like, well, you can have my Instagram. Like, I don't give out my number, drizzle, drizzle, you know? And here's the thing, right? I don't really understand, like, why she thought she could approach me in the parking lot while I'm putting away my groceries. Like, don't you understand the level of danger that the matriarchy has put above men's head that we don't feel safe when we go to the grocery store? Don't approach us in the grocery store, in the parking lot, at the gym. Don't do any of that because we don't feel safe anymore drizzle drizzle so i'm in my soft guy era okay so if you want to approach me please approach me correct all right i'm just letting all you girls know that approach me correct all right kings if you feel the same way go ahead and comment down below uh drizzle drizzle listen i don't think y'all understand what this whole soft guy era movement is really doing it's really exposing that a lot of women play ignorant to men's feelings and how they treat men because if you look at some of these comments and even the responses I got from my video, there's literally women answering their own questions with their own logic. So that means they're fully capable of doing the right thing. They just choose to do the wrong thing because there's nobody to stand up for men. We have no public voice, even though we created and did everything. We have no public voice for our mental shit that we go through. And this whole soft guy era movement just shows you that women know what they do to us. Women know what they're capable of and what they're actually indulging in. And they don't give a fuck. They don't care. Like, really look at all the comments. Really look at these stitches and reaction videos. They like, oh, they really want to be us. They really want because what a lot of women don't understand is that they benefit 
from men's hard work, whether they want to accept it or not. That stoplight, man, that police officer, man, that firefighter, a man. Like, there's things that they benefit from us that they just don't want to admit to. And that's cool, but we know the truth. Again, I'm in the gym. I got a great pump going on. About to leave, some female steps in front of me. She says, sir, I just have to let you know that you are fine. And I, I, I really admire the determination, dedication, and just the focus you have in the gym. It's, it's, it's really, it's, it's really attractive. And I would love to take you out sometime. And I just said to her, I said, sir, sir, I said, my pronouns are pay pal, honey. Okay, so if you're interested in speaking to me, you best be a pal and pay up. Because if not, get to stepping. There's the door. Drizzle, drizzle. Wow, you guys, this is very, very funny. And <laughs> I don't even know what to say because as I don't even know what to say. I'm actually at a loss for words. What these men are demanding, I don't think that half of the women can meet up with that demand. This is insane. And oh my gosh, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I really enjoyed this soft guy era video and I'm definitely going to check more out. The guys are so, so hilarious. And oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you guys, what a time to be alive. I really enjoyed every minute of this video. If you guys enjoyed watching, give this video a massive thumbs up, comment, share, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.